Hi everyone, let's start Keynesian theory of income determination. As we have discussed classical theory in my previous video and today now we would start this Keynesian theory of income determination. How it came into practice? Actually, this is the during the period of 1929-33. That was the time of Great Depression. So, during this time, capitalist countries which cause huge unemployment of labor and other resources in these countries and as a result, level of national income fell down. So, just because of this, due to this depression, many factories were closed in these countries. And uh, these factories which were working uh, were also not being used to their full productive capacity. I mean, that was not enough demand they can utilize or optimum utilization of all the resources. So this condition of depression and unemployment did not seem to disappear automatically. So just because of this, people, those were believing in classical economists or classical, econ classical economic thoughts. So just because of this, full employment was shaken and the classical theory of full employment was proved empirically wrong because classical economists said there is the full employment situation and demand and supply creates its own demand. So just because of this, this theory was wrong during the depression period. So at that time, what happened, Keynes wrote his book, General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money, in which he challenged the validity of the classical theory of employment. And in this book, he criticized the classical theory of full employment and proved it wrong, but also presented a new theory of income and employment, which is generally believed to be correct and valid by modern economists. So he had given this theory, theory of income and employment, and it was correct and valid by number of modern economists. So Keen in his book tried to prove that full employment is not the normal feature of an advanced capitalist economy and that underemployment equilibrium is it normal feature. So classical economists, they said uh, no, normal feature is full employment situation, but Keynes believe underemployment equilibrium is its normal feature. So he also invented new tools and concepts of economic analysis in terms of which he propounded his theory of income and employment. That is why this theory came into practice, theory of income and employment. So these new, new tools, concepts are, some are, we have already studied propensity to consume, multiplier, marginal efficiency of capital, we can call it MEC and liquidity preference. We will study further in the in next coming up videos, all these tools. So Keynes theory of income and employment is a short run theory. It was not the long run theory. Why, why it was assumed that? Because amount of capital, size of population and labor force, technology, efficiency of labors, etc. do not change. That means these are con th these are not changing. So, so this theory believe this theory was a short run theory. In his theory of income determination, he assumed that price level in the economy remains unchanged. So just because of this Keynesian theory, which deals with the short run, the level of income of the country will change as a result of changes in the level of labor employment. So thus, in free market economy, in the short run, when technology remains unchanged, income is a function of employment. In fact, both income and employment together. So we can call it sometimes Keynes theory of income determination is also called Keynes theory of employment determination because both the things are uh, going together. So both income and employment going to go, going to together. So the Keynesian theory of income determination states that the equilibrium level of national income is determined at the level where aggregate demand for goods and services equals their aggregate supply. So first time this term came into practice, aggregate demand and aggregate supply. So here is aggregate demand of goods and services equals their aggregate supply. That would be equilibrium level of national income. 
And uh, Keynesian theory of income determination can be explained by assuming two sectors in the economy. Both, both these two sectors are household and business firms. I mean, there are only two sector economy, no three sector economy, no four sector economy. It was only two sector economy he had given. And uh, aggregate, what do you mean by term uh, aggregate demand and consumption demand and further is other other things we will discuss in our next video, all these things, aggregate demand, consumption demand, and as well as their intersection, here is equilibrium point, investment demand, etc. But today in this video, only I'm giving you introduction about Keynes theory, Keynes income and uh, employment uh, theory, income and employment determination theory. So I hope this theory would be clear to you. And in the next coming up video, we will discuss some more concepts of Keynes theory and these tools also. Thank you. Stay tuned. Keep watching.